Okay, in this video I'm going to be going over um, one of the more most difficult types of questions you'll see in this unit. And uh, yes, there's a pretty good chance on your unit test that there will be a question just like this. Uh, so hopefully this video will help you understand it better. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look at our question. So it says the diagram below shows a circular pipe that has O as its center, so that's our center. Uh, the radius of the pipe is 20 centimeters. So it looks like we've got a, a pipe here that we're looking at from the side, and it's got some water inside it. So the question is, uh, the maximum depth of the water in the pipe is blank centimeters. So uh, they're asking for the depth of the water, so let's just kind of visualize that right now. In this diagram here, uh, the depth of the water would be the distance from there to there. That would be our max, the maximum depth of the water. Okay, so um, first important thing to know is any time in this unit that you're trying to find the distance of something within a circle, guaranteed you're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem. The next thing to consider is, in order to use the Pythagorean theorem, what do we need? Well, we need a uh, right angle triangle. So let me just write that in here. We need a right angle triangle. Well, actually, it wouldn't look like that, right? It would look like more like that with a 90 degree angle. OK, so if we take a look at this diagram we have up here, um, right now we do not have any 90 degree triangles anywhere, right? Um, so maybe we just need to create one. First of all, let's think again of what the question is asking us. We're trying to find the distance from here to here. Now, we, we don't have a lot of information, but we do know that the radius of the circle is 20 centimeters. So if we're to draw a line from the center of the circle, to anywhere along the edge, that distance is 20 centimeters. We could draw it there, we could draw it there, we could draw it there. Guaranteed it's always going to be 20 centimeters because it's just the distance from the center to the edge. Just erase that. So the question is, um, where would we draw it to be useful to us? Well, we know to make a, 90, a right angle triangle, we need a 90 degree angle. So maybe if we draw a line from the center straight down to the bottom, what we're doing, we know from the chord property that we just cut this chord in half and it's forming a 90 degree angle with it. So that's our 90 degree angle right there. Okay, now so we know the distance from there to there is uh, 20 centimeters. Okay, um, now another good trick here, you can see that we just figured out the distance of from here to here we know that's going to be half of 32 because we cut it in half. So that right there is 16 centimeters. Um, and to finish off our 90 degree triangle, we need to create our hypotenuse, which is going to be going from here to here. Now the reason I'm drawing it there is because we know the distance. I know that's going to be exactly uh, 20 centimeters. Oh, that's not dark enough. There we go. Okay, so that's 20 centimeters there, because that's our radius. Okay, so check this out. We now have a triangle, a right angle triangle. We've got the longest distance is 20, one of the shorter distances is 16, this one along the bottom, and we don't know this distance here, but we do know the total distance there is 20. So, um, in order to figure out the answer to this question, the height of this water here, all we need to do is take this 20 centimeters, subtract this distance, and we'll be left with our answer. Think of it um, like a subtraction question. Um, just give me a second. If you are looking for, let's use a number line here, this is 5. Actually, sorry, that's a bad example. Um, oh. Okay, let's say um, this is me, and I am, well, I'm not actually six feet tall, but let's pretend I'm six feet tall, and we were trying to find the length of uh, my legs, okay? So to figure that out, one way of, of doing that would be to figure out uh, the distance from the top of my head to my torso, and let's say that um, we figure out that's four feet. Well, then to figure out the length of my legs, you would just do uh, 6 minus 4, and then you'd get 2 feet, which would be that distance there. So the same kind of principle here. Um, again, if we're able to fi uh, figure out 
um, the distance here, we would just subtract that from 20 to get the, the uh, sorry, the height of the water there. All right, let's do this. Just move over here. I'm just going to draw the triangle over here. Uh, let's go down here. Okay, so let's see if I remember this. This is what our triangle looks like. Um, this distance here is 20. Uh, this was uh, 16. And we're trying to find out this distance here. Okay, so remember, first step for the Pythagorean theorem is to square the numbers that we know. So let's figure out 20 squared gets me 400, because that's 20 times 20. And 16 squared, um, I don't know, you guys can figure that out. And then um, next step is to either add or subtract those numbers. Remember, you add them if you're looking for the longest side of the triangle, and you subtract them if you're looking for one of the shorter sides. So I'm going to leave that to you to figure out if you add or subtract these two numbers. And then your last step would be to um, find the square root of that answer. Okay, once you do that, you will have that missing distance, although that is not the final answer. Remember, to, to figure out the final answer, what we we're going to do is um, take that total distance, which was 20 centimeters, and you would subtract whatever you figured out to get the final answer. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, yeah.